All right, what's going on, everyone? Well, as you can see here, we have a Marvel's Legends Deadpool movie series cable. Uh, it is continuing on with the uh, Marvel Fox's movies line of figures. Uh, the last one I reviewed was Deadpool's Domino. Uh, today we have cable. Now, as you can see, it's the same style box, uh, red being the Deadpool box, uh, even though it's still technically part of the 20th anniversary of X Men figure lines. As you can see here, we have the X behind this fake Deadpool sticker. That's printed on there. Uh, Nathan Summers crossed out with Cable uh, for 14 and plus older kids. Hasbro uh, spine art style, the silhouette of the movie Cable. I'm sure uh, inbox collectors are going to love this. So many different ways to display this compared to the old style boxes. Uh, same artwork on the back. Nathan Summers crossed out Cable top. Same thing on the side. Legalese. Uh, but yeah, enough of him in the package. What do you say? We open him up and see what he's about. All right, so here we have him out of packaging. Now, I have to say, right off the bat, I, I, man, they nailed this Josh Brolin head. Now, I do realize they probably already have his face scanned in uh, in their database from Thanos. So they probably already had a a leg up on doing his face sculpt. But I mean, come on, dude. This, this is him. This looks simply amazing. Uh, all the detail work on this figure. Let me go ahead and take this off real quick so you can see some of that. The sculpted machine work on his neck. A little bit of missing paint right there on his hair. I'll just call that a scar. <laughs> uh, his eye is painted in, I believe, but it's really hard to see on camera, and it kind of looks like his eye is rolling into the back of his head his pupil is really uh high up on my figure uh but you got this nice vest here with his magazine clips some extra shells nice molded work you got the bear on the side let's see is this removable uh does nope it doesn't look like it's removable uh yeah Man, looks amazing. Okay, so let's get into his accessories. As you saw, I took off one of them. It's his little uh, cape cloak thing. Uh, soft plastic. Yeah, really just goes over him. Put that back on him real quick. Okay. And then he comes with his two uh, gun holding hands on him out of the box. Then you also have two fist hands. You have his... Big gun, which comes with two attachments. Uh, you got this, I believe, grenade launcher attachment. And then a, or I guess this one's the shotgun attachment. And then the grenade launcher attachment. They just come right off and plug right in, depending on which one you want him to be holding. And then he also comes with a little pistol. Very nicely detailed. I guess they're allowed to give us uh, realistic looking guns in this one because it's actually meant for... Uh, 14 and up. It's not your typical 4 and up like they normally do. But yeah, so let's get into articulation. Uh, typical Marvel Legends mid-sized male buck articulation. You have his head on a ball joint. You can go full 360. Look side to side. Look up that far. Look down that far. He's not even really... I can't even... Yeah, he's kind of hindered by this uh, cape, so if you have him posing with that, that's about as far as he can go down. Uh, so let's go ahead and take that off so you can see how far it normally goes down. So he can look down almost all the way without the cape on. And then uh, you have a ball joint 360, uh, no real butterfly in there, so just full 360. Upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, and typical... Uh, well, I guess not typical. He has your gun holding wrist that goes hinges up and down instead of side to side. Uh, full 360. And if you notice, he's not using uh, the new pinless system. Uh, he still has all his pins in him. Uh, I figured all these Marvel uh, movies coming out, these newer ones at least, they'd be utilizing the pin system or pinless system. But looks like they're using an older one on him. Uh, he has his upper torso swivel. App crunch can go back that far, forward that far, hindered a lot by this vest. Uh, lower waist 
swivel, ball joint hips, can do the splits that far, can go up that far, can go back that far, upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, boot cut swivel, and typical ankle rockers from Hasbro can go back that far, forward that far, and then your typical side to side. Okay, there you go. That is his articulation. Basic Marvel Legends Hasbro medium sized buck. Uh yeah, I'm I'm loving this figure. This face sculpt is awesome. He's gonna look great in my Deadpool display whenever I finally get the Deadpool 2 pack. Uh but as of right now, movie wise, I only have him and jumping into size comparison, the movie Domino, which by far is one of my favorite female figures right now. And then, for another size comparison, here I have him next to my comic Deadpool. So, the closest color scheme I have to, like, the movie one. If you notice, this one is actually pretty small. I believe they also make a joke about that in the movie. It's been a while since I've seen it. Uh, but yeah, and then, just for grins, as you can see, I, have, I gotta, like, raise my camera a bit. I have him next to Chris Hemsworth Thor. Looking at him like he should have went for the head. But yeah. Is Josh Brolin? I think he's like 5'6 or something like that. He's not very tall. So in scale wise, this makes a lot of sense. But yes. Uh, Walmart exclusive. Uh, I know a lot of people pre-ordered him whenever they did that whole like Walmart con thing or whatever. And... This guy started showing up in shelves. Typical Walmart, their pre-orders. I don't even know why they take pre-orders. Uh, I mean, I know why. They just want the money. Uh, but they never seem to ship them out. Uh, people always end up finding them in stores months before the pre-orders uh, are supposed to even be out. So uh, go ahead. Check your local Walmarts. Uh, when I found this guy, there was like eight, six or eight on the shelf. There's a lot. Uh I know there's one dude on the Facebook group who bought the whole pallet trying to flip them for $40 saying, oh, I'm helping the community. You want to help the community? Leave them there. Like, you're not you're not helping anybody. You're just trying to make a quick buck. I mean, it may not be like a lot, but I mean, this isn't gold. If anybody makes like five extra dollars and the dude bought the whole pallet, that's like 40 bucks right there. Anyways, uh, small little rant about scalpers. So, yes, at your local Walmarts. Uh, until next time, guys. Later.